Well, last episode, Paris FC stayed top of the league after some huge, huge wins. And now it's a test of our strength with a top of the table clash. Hey, what's going on guys? Respected Jeff here, sitting atop of the league with Paris FC, three points ahead of our rivals. It is gonna be an insane end to the season. Not only big games, but big storyline points, as you guys know I like to mix in. This time I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna spin a wheel uh, to determine which of the players it's gonna be uh, who will be part of the storyline. I don't wanna be biased and pick one that I feel like would make it too easy for us. We're gonna get a truly random player out of the squad banned for the rest of the season. So stay tuned for that. Come later this episode. Now we got to focus on our upcoming game against Marseille. Please like this video if you haven't already. Helps out the algorithm and let's get to it. All right, here we go. Facing off against Marseille first versus third. This game could count for a lot come the end of the season here. Marseille have given us some incredible games over the last season or two, and really, this starts off as no exception. Eight minutes in, ripping a shot from distance, and then playing through a clever little ball here. Thank God the defense just about deals with it, but a big, big mistake is bailed out by Luka Zidane, who looks to be back. For those of you who saw last episode, he had a shocking mistake at the back that cost us points. But we're backing our man, and we'll hope he sticks with it. Diego Llorente absolutely cleaned out there with a nasty challenge. Play on, says the referee, though, and on we go here with our star center back still down on the ground. Paulinho twisting and turning, waiting for a ball over the top. Guy Tan Laura, who that could have been a fantastic goal back into the area from Felipe Anderson. And eventually seen away here, though. Sumare plays it back down. Veritude moving the ball really well. Felipe Anderson cutting it back central. Really good play here from Paris FC. Starting to take control. Veritude looking to play the final ball. And it's a beautiful sequence again. How has that not scored? Felipe Anderson still going here. Guy Tan Laura tries to turn inside on his man. And eventually it is seen out. But the game is far from over here. Marseille. Another great chance. And as we come into the second half here, Marseille still cranking up the pressure. Luka Zidane has to bail us out with another unbelievable reflex save. And as we come into the last half hour here, Llorente can no longer carry on because of that injury. So it's DKT going into midfield and actually we have to slide back Sumar Ray into our defense. And hopefully he can help us cling on here to a clean sheet at least. Hopefully we can go on to score as well. Veritude now plays the ball forwards for Paulinho, who's just waiting for a run ahead of him, and he does exactly that. Tobias played through on goal. Can he cross? Yes, it's a beautiful one, and Laura finishes at the near post. Well, that is exactly what we needed. Time and time again, Gaetan Laura bails us out of really, really close calls, and this time it just might be the goal that decides the game. Tobias with yet another assist. The young 19-year-old right back is making waves this season. Alongside some of our other promising youth, uh, he's starting to shine as one of the brightest. But here we go, Sumare looking to cover Williams running in behind. There you go, love it from the center mid, playing center back this game, and it's just enough to see out hopefully the last challenge of the game. But ball played in again for Cuisance, and again, Sumare gets a foot to that one, and Zidane just about deals with it. Last chance of the game, put into the box, headed away, whistle has to blow, three minutes over the added time, and eventually we see it out. That was a close, close game. 96 minutes played, and Paris FC see off Marseille in one of the victories of the season to keep us top of the league. No way. Diego Llorente out for three months with a broken toe injury. It's the dreaded broken toe injury that's been plaguing us since FIFA 21. We had like six players, I think, go out, maybe five or six last season with broken toes. We had a horrible time with injuries. So far, so good this season. We didn't have any significant injuries until this, and that hurts. He's the single player who came in and really solidified our defense. And with Llorente out, that means it's back to Bamba and Soleil, which was not a great partnership early on. Not only that, but PSG are starting to make significant moves in the market. They have a huge money, $64 million signing for Arthur, uh, who makes his move from Everton and bolsters their midfield as they look to make up the distance between us and them on the table. We have money, but <laughs> unfortunately, they have even more. Taking a look at our transfer history though, I don't really want to rush into business. I think our squad is looking good. We spent a lot in the summer. 
Taking a look at the players who have moved recently though, uh, Belosian has gone out on loan now that we hit January. Haidara and Laren are still with us, but they're leaving on free transfers at the end of the year, which is fine. Neither of them getting many minutes this season. They're kind of just here for depth. Knock on wood, uh, we won't need it <laughs> because we really shouldn't have too many more injuries this season. Uh, if we really want to make a push for the title, we can't really afford it. So it's Hajam who's going to be filling in as our backup center back. But for now, it's Bamba and Soleil who are going to be starting these next couple games. Uh, crazy enough, as fortune would have it, we are facing off against Marseille again, this time in the cup. And after having just barely gotten the better of them, you wonder what's going to happen. So now that we are going into this cup game, I'll probably rotate just a little bit here. I don't know if we're going to go out with a full strength 11. We should be focusing on the league. So Hajam's going to play in the back line. Haidara, Piet, uh, Garbi, players who don't play all that much are going to be in the starting 11. And Mbappe as well, a notable addition. With that said, let's get to it. All right, well, here we go. A rotated squad from our usual and really the team that just played Marseille days ago in the league. Uh, but they've rotated a little bit too. It's a cup game. It's the first cup game of the season. And really, it's not our ultimate goal to win this one, especially against self, uh, such tough opposition. So early on, we need to focus on winning the league uh, if we can do anything about it. So far, so good. And we've really been getting results. But we're going to give it our all this game. I don't mean to say that we're not uh, putting out a strong enough starting 11 because I think I really do back the players out there. Guy Tam, Laura especially. My God. Ran through the entire back line. Took on four or five men. Almost got the shot off, but it was always a hopeful ball. Now Piet closing down. Unable to get there. My God, what a strike. And oh man, Timothy Lotutala. Well, he has been unbelievable between the sticks. Honestly, Luka Zidane's been good this season and Definitely not worth dropping, but Lotu Tala is one to watch out for. I don't know exactly where he fits in because Zidane's young. It's not like he's going to be going anywhere soon, and we might have a decision on our hands to make here as Lotu Tala grows into his own and wants more minutes. He's looking outstanding. As of now, he's been a great, great backup goalkeeper for us, but Marseille's had a couple really, really close chances, and so far we are just about hanging on. The team definitely not quite as strong as our usual squad, and we're really starting to make mistakes at the back. Axel Bamba notably giving the ball directly away there, only to be bailed out by Lotutala, but uh, definitely warning signs here. Hajam heads away. He's actually looked pretty solid, the uh, former left back, but unbelievable strike. You gotta say, fair play, it's been coming from Marseille, but they find the opening goal with an absolutely wonderful rocket from outside the box. Despite all of the great saves and the effort by Lotu Tala so far in this game, <laughs> I don't know if any goalkeeper in the world is saving that one. Paulinho now, can we find a goal of our own? Yes, Gaetan Laura is through, no way, he's saved. And it's back into the area now and headed away. Unfortunately, Marseille get the better of us here. One nil, the exact scoreline we had in the opposite result in the league. But the, uh, they come out on top this time. We're knocked out of the cup pretty early this time. And on we go. All right. Well, I'm just going to roll straight back into league action here. <laughs> it was an unfortunate game for us. I don't want to lose momentum, so let's get straight back to playing and hopefully to winning. Ilias Husni here looking to have some sort of say about this early in the game. Working the ball around, but Brest defending really deep here in this away league match. And uh, we're just having a hard time finding anything. 73 minutes into the match, scoreline still level 0-0, zero, zero, and Felipe Anderson blows a glorious chance to get us in front there. And with 90 minutes played, it's another unfortunate result. A draw, a pretty boring one at that. Uh, <laughs> you can see the short highlights, and that one drops more points for us. Oh man, well the pressure is on. PSG have played one more game than us, but they are, are as of now, two points ahead of us on the table. So we have a game in hand, but uh, we need a win to get back really where we belong at the top of the league, where we've been pretty much all season long. Uh, things are starting to get a little tricky now. Llorente is out. Uh, our defense hasn't looked the same. And unfortunately for us too, it looks like he's even gone down by one overall already. So we get back to action with our strongest starting 11. Let's get to it. All right, well, the available personnel to us has to step up to the job. Uh, really all said and done, it's just Urente we're missing. We should be able to cope. And really, if we want to be champions, we have to be able to cope with this kind of pressure. Ilias Husni with the early chance, saved by the goalkeeper. That is a beautiful opportunity that wasn't taken by the team here. Unfortunate challenge there from Axel Bamba. Gives away a free kick outside the area. 
Like I said, it just really isn't the same when we have our two relatively younger center backs. I think they're both 25, Soleil and Bamba, partnered back there together. They've been together for a long time. We've had that center back partnership really for, I think, three seasons now. But we've looked a lot better with Llorente there. And unfortunately for us, we do seem to be missing him. But on we go. So far, the clean sheet is still alive. It's the attack that really has to step up. We, we even saw a clean sheet in the last game, <laughs> to be honest. So I'm talking about the defense, but we need goals. And here we have one through Gaitan Laura shot, and it is converted. 1-0, 35 minutes in. And you ask for a man to step up, <laughs> it seems like he's always the one. A uh, shot from a pretty ridiculous angle, if I'm being honest, but kind of finishing he's got on him. He is always going to score chances. And now we just got to make sure we keep a hold of the clean sheet and we'll be on our way to three points. Lorian, want to have something to say about that though. Shot from outside the area and just about got away with that one. But Soleil, another risky pass out of the back. Almost undoes us there as we head towards uh, halftime. Into the second half here, Jordan Veritu played through with an unreal finish. Little dink over the goalkeeper. And honestly, that's one of the best finishes I think I've ever seen in FIFA, or at least the most unique. He was kind of twisting away from it, and he had the curling chipped effort over the fingertips of the goalkeeper. I could watch that all day. What a goal. Jordan Veritu doesn't score all that many, but incredibly well-rounded midfielder and one of the unsung heroes of this team this season. Could we make it even more here? Ilias Husni, yes, three goals. Everyone chipping in now. Laura, Veritude, Husni, all the usual suspects really getting on the score sheet. Now Paulinho, we can add his mark to the game. Converts, unbelievable stuff, four goals. We are really starting to perform here. Paulinho is just on another level this season. Not only can he dribble really well, pass really well, he's starting to convert a lot of chances and score his fair share of goals. That's enough, more than enough, really, to get the job done in this game. Beautiful performance from everybody involved. Clean sheet, tons of goals, three points. We're back top of the league. All right, well, this is going to be a really, really tight end of the season. We are still one point ahead of PSG. At this point of the season, we cannot afford any slip-ups at all. It's really tight, and PSG are relentless. Now that they're back in form, it seems like I'm sure they're going to go on a big winning streak. So we just got to stay focused. It is still in our hands. But as promised, life is going to get a little bit more difficult. One of the players in our team is going to be banned after failing a drug test. And like I said, as promised, it is randomized. So we're going to find out together who this is. I haven't looked just yet, but the footage has been recorded, and let's see exactly what, with our high <laughs> uh, high technology uh, spinning website framed in here, and it is going to be, no, 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 oh my god, well, Alexandru Matrita, uh, funny enough that they have confetti flying <laughs> to celebrate him being banned, but it was about to be Laura, really close call. Uh, unfortunately, that still does hurt us. Not to say Mitrita is not a big player at all, but he's failed the drug test. He's going to be out for three months, which takes him through the end of the season. I know it says concussion on the screen, but it's all I could afford with the mods here. So that's going to hurt our depth significantly. So now he and Urente both out for the foreseeable future. How are we going to stack up for the rest of the season? Well, we're going to have to call upon everybody available at some point, so we're going to keep with some minor rotation in the squad. Diakite does enough to earn a start in this game. Thinking about Ismail Garbi for this one, he still deserves minutes, but for the time being, Anderson is still going to start. I don't think we can afford to slip up anymore, and let's get to it. All right, here we go, back into action. Thankfully, back into action in front of the home fans, and hopefully that'll be enough to spur us on to another win. Ilias Husni, who's really, again, kicked it up a notch this season, is <laughs> just taking on defenders with ease. Plays a little ball over the top for Paulinho. What a goal that would be, and he makes a mess of the finish. <laughs> well, uh, it was audacious stuff there from the team, but we're still looking confident here. About 30 minutes into the game, Felipe Anderson takes his man on, shoots, and it is deflected from the keeper, but it's offsides. Paulinho, two good chances, one offsides and one missed. It's not enough to do anything just yet. Opposition cracks one off the crossbar. This has been an end-to-end -end game so far, and we still carry on here. Samuel Piet plays it through for Husni who again <laughs> blows by his man like he's not even there. Diakite, lovely passing sequence. Felipe Anderson, we're approaching halftime here. Anderson saved by the goalkeeper. Oh man, we just still cannot score. Going into the second half here, 
Hopefully this can turn the tides a little bit. Cornet does well to win the ball back. He's had an outstanding season. The left back, Felipe Anderson, now gets forwards, and he's still carrying the ball forwards. Centers it to the top of the area. Diakite keeps it going. Husni, could this be the breakthrough moment? Yes! Paris FC take the lead against FC Mets. 55 minutes in, it's the familiar face of our wonder kid, Ilias Husni. Does well to get himself back on side for that chance, and he finishes really composed into the bottom corner. So it's Ismail Garbi coming, uh, coming on now. Paulinho ran himself into the ground in those opening 60 minutes. That means Felipe Anderson's going to play as our attacking mid for the remaining half hour here. Hopefully it's just enough to hang on. We just about see that one out from the free kick here. And play on Samuel Piet. Uh, not the player you necessarily want on a counterattack, but he picks out the pass. Garbi one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. This is his chance. Saves. Ah, disappointing again from our young winger, but it was a good run he made, and I just think he'll uh, improve as time goes on. And here we have it. Yeah, it's much better. Ismail Garbi picks out the assist this time uh, for a more regular goal scorer. Guy Tan Laura making that run in behind like usual. Classic goal from our number nine. Just easy as you like. Down the middle, right place, right time, good finish. And honestly, that's a, a more promising sign from Garby as well as he continues to work his way into the side and get minutes. Here we have it again. Garby one-on-one -on -one with his man. Great footwork. Well, we know he's a good dribbler at the very least, taking many men on. Here we go, Garby. Ooh, just wide of the post. And that just might be game there, but that was an unbelievable run again. He's starting to grow in confidence. He's starting to become an important player for us, and I do like what I see from the youngster. I hope he asked to step up, especially with Mitrita out now through the rest of the season. We're going to have to rely on him to be one of our more reliable wingers. And so far, so good. It's been enough to get the job done here. Paris FC remain top of the league with that win. What an exciting season this has been. And honestly, who thought we would be here at the beginning of the season? Well, so much of the success we've seen from this team has been building through some of the academy youth players we've signed Taking a look, unfortunately, at our academy now, we have a lot of players kind of wasting away in here, getting up there in age, 21, 22. Marley Felix among them, who was one of the most promising young players we signed, but after signing some center backs, he just doesn't have a home yet, so we'll see what the future holds for him. But for now, it's back to league action for us, and let's get to it. All right, here we go. You guys know the one to watch. Laura's cracked 20 goals. Uh, make that 21, actually. Like I said earlier, he's still on target for 30 goals this season, which would be an incredible feat. Uh, we've had some players, or some people rather, in the Discord uh, refer to him as the French Jamie Vardy. I think that's a pretty uh, apt description uh, based off of his sort of late rise to prominence. He's not young. He's getting up there close to 30 at this point. Uh, but he just keeps getting better and keeps scoring goals, really. And there you have it. Full of confidence, working the ball around. Anderson cracks one from distance. Saved by the keeper and just about dealt with. Well, I don't know how that didn't end up in the back of the net, but it's good early pressure here from Paris FC. Throwing numbers at it. Woo! Take a bow. Laura cracks one from outside the box. <laughs> just off the half volley. Uh, reminiscent of some of the goals we've seen players like Drogba score in the past. Doesn't even need to settle. First time hits it from distance with confidence, too. That's enough to take the lead in this game, but uh, Lens definitely not going to let us off easy with that one. Cornet with an audacious flick from our own area here. Here we go, off the counterattack. No way will this result in a goal. Ilias Husni is clean through one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, and it is, wow, end-to-end -end stuff from Paris FC. We're flying high at the moment. Still top of the league. This game looks to be no exception. And you gotta say, it's risky play out of the back there from Cornet to flick it over his man in our own box, but if it works, it works. Uh, we've seen some mistakes from us in the past, but as of now, we're the best in the league, and uh, I'll let the players play the way they want to. And In fact, it's encouraged, I think, to the kind of flair that we have in this squad. Paulinho makes things even worse here, getting another goal up there for player of the season. I think Laura probably will grab that with the sheer amount of goals he scored, but huge shout out to Paulino, who's easily been second best along with Ilias Husni. So 90 minutes gone. It's another 3-0 victory for the team to keep us top of the league. And the more games that pass, the more you think we really are genuinely in the running to win the title this year. 
All right, this is going to be the single most important match of the rest of our season. Paris FC versus PSG. Uh, four points separate us right now, so really this could be the game that decides the end of the season. Who wins the title between the two of us? Right now we're first and second. We got the better of them earlier in the season. If we could do the double, that six point swing might uh, and likely will be what separates these two teams at the end of the 38 games played. That's gonna come next episode though. We'll kick things off with that. Hugely exciting, you won't wanna miss it. In the meantime, feel free to join the Discord. It's free, link in the description. You can get more active with this series and join the community. Also, if you're interested, go ahead and check out my website, respectthejeff.com. I have all of the detailed statistics for the team so far this season, and you can check it across all of the statistics for all of the seasons, really. Uh, and also consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I will be back soon with next episode. But until then, I'm Respect the Jeff, and I'll see you next time.